in this very unfortunate incident. This is a tragedy to the entire nation of Kenya and even the continent of Africa. So I'm here as uh, the AU High Representative on Infrastructure Development, which includes roads, rail, air and water transport. So this accident signifies something that is very serious with our transport system on the continent. But now is not the time to apportion the blame. Now is the time to try to retrieve the bodies of those unfortunate Kenyans. Uh, we condole with the family. We have uh, expressed our uh, messages of condolences to the husband and to the parents and relatives of uh, those who have perished here. But we have also come to see what can be done or what is being done to ensure that the vehicle and the bodies are retrieved. I am satisfied with the effort that has been made here. There are several challenges that are faced but I'm sure that um, the team that is working here is capable of doing what is necessary. What we want to, to start here is that we are told that some dredging is work is going on here somewhere, mm -hmm. which is interfering with the exercise of trying to retrieve the bodies here. I want to give an order here that the dredging work should stop immediately so that those who are working here can work without interference of uh, the kind of uh, debris that are being emitted under the water which interferes with the visibility under the water here. So we say power to everybody. The entire Kenyan nation is in mourning for the loss of such precious lives that this accident has occasioned. The minister has gone to try to see if other assistance can be forthcoming to deal with this work. That's all that I want to say for now.